What's up guys, my name is Ryan45678 and in this video I'm going to be adapting a dryer cord to a welder plug. So before we get started, don't forget to leave a like on the video, subscribe if you want to see more content like this, and if you want to support this channel, there are affiliate links in the description below. So yeah, I'll just explain what I'm doing really quick before we actually get started. I bought a Harbor Freight welder, it has a welding plug on it that fits in a hole like this, and the only 220 volt plug we have is for a dryer, and that looks like this, and that, uh, well, it would be the other way around, but these are not the same, obviously. Originally, I was thinking about using a generator, but I'm not going to do that because, A, the generator does not want to run, and two, it may not be like constant flow of power that I want for welding anyway. So, uh, what, what I'm going to be doing is taking this dryer cord, which this will plug into the wall that we have 220 volt for. I'm going to be using this. This, I believe, is actually supposed to be in a wall or something. I don't know, because you, you can screw things into it and stuff. But what I'm going to be using it for is for an adapter. I'm going to take and put this, wire this up to that. And once I've done that, then I can plug my welder cord into here and the dryer plug into the wall, and all should be fine and dandy. So let's so go ahead and open it up. Uh, there are a bunch of screws in here. They it wasn't originally like that. This is like a a thing. This is a yeah. This is a tension uh, a thing to keep keep from putting tension on the wires. Like when you when you plug them up. Uh, if it didn't have this, it, if you pulled on it, it could pull pull the wires. You put this on there so it pulls this instead of pulling directly on here. These are to mount uh, mount to a piece of wood, which I'll probably. Well, I, I say a piece of wood. That's what I'm probably going to do with it. Because obviously you don't you probably don't want to touch this when it's plugged in. So I'm not actually sure which wire goes where. I can use uh, a multimeter to find which one of these goes to which plug to find which one is ground. This one is ground, but I don't know which ones correspond here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to figure it out and hope it works. So obviously this is just me doing it. I'm not explaining how you should do this or if you should at all, uh, this is just the way I'm doing it. So if it's like this, uh, this plug would line up backwards like this. So like that, let me get some paper and I'm gonna draw this so I don't screw it up. And once again, like I said, I'm just doing this for me. So if, if you wanna do this yourself, make sure you do your research and do it right. I'm not saying this is the right way to do it. It might be, if it fails, it fails, but I'm just showing you guys what I'm doing. Uh, what I'm going to be doing is just taking, obviously, the ground to the ground there, uh, and I'll match these two like this. So that's what I'll do. So I, I really didn't even need to draw that. Actually, I did because I need the upside down. I need uh, that, that, and that. Because these need to match up like that. So the ground goes to that. The one that is uh, currently on the left needs to go to the one on the right. One on the right needs to go on the left. So that's that's a little bit confusing, but that's how it goes. So that's that's that. Now I'll get the multimeter because I, I would assume that that the ground is the center cable. Uh, this one is that one, and this one is that one. But I don't know for a fact. All right, so with your handy dandy free with other purchase Harbor Freight multimeter, switch it to the uh, continuity part, which I believe is that one. Yep, and if you have continuity like this, it should change to zero, or is that right? Okay, I guess another option would be to use resistance, uh, because there'd be obviously infinite resistance through air, and as soon as you connect it, there should be basically zero. So we'll try that. So we'll take the ground and go from the ground to the middle and see if that's the right the right plug. Uh, make sure these these aren't touching and go ahead and put this one here. Grab the other lead and touch it to ground. And looks like we got zero. So yeah, this is definitely ground. Uh, we'll check see which one is this one. So. Go ahead and touch it. So is it this one? No. Is it this one? Yes. So uh, this one right now is the one on the right. We need to be careful because this is flipped so many different ways. My goodness. Stay, stay there. 
because th this I actually drew up this upside down, but that's okay because it's it's the same thing. It's this, not this. It's this. Uh, I just forgot what I did. So um, I'm going to mark the one that I find uh, continuous with black. So just so I know, to do that again. So what we've got here is we've got this pin and it's connected to this pin. This one, which is the rightmost pin, which goes to the left. Okay, so we got that. Goes to the left. So we'll mark this black and we'll also mark the left black. Okay. That should be enough because we know the middle one is ground. So now we don't need the multimeter anymore. Turn it off. Whew, okay, the hard part's done. Okay, so we'll move this out of the way for a second. I think we need to punch this out somehow. I'm not sure how to do that exactly. Oh, okay, perfect. It just pops out. There we go. Get that out. Now we'll feed this through. Let me make sure... This one is on the left, and that will be all lined up. And I'll put this thing up, the, the whole cord on the floor. Another thing I'm not sure about is I don't, these, uh, whatever you call these, I'm not sure if they're going to line up and fit in here. I'm going to try, but if they don't, they don't. It does look like it will barely fit, but it will fit, so not ideal. But it will work, I think. You know what? I may crush these a little bit. Uh, I will have to crush them a tiny bit, not too much. Just squish it down, because this needs to go in there. if at all possible, which it's not going to fit in the current situation. I'm going to I'm gonna get some pliers and squish it down. Gosh. Okay, that should do it. So now it'll fit in there. Very little problem. Okay, it needs a, a little more squishing here. Okay, that should do it. There we go, perfect. Now, another thing I could have done is I could have taken, cut these off, stripped the wire, and used just the bare copper. But I'm lazy. I like, I'm so lazy that I do things the hard way. That's just how I am. So you can do that if you want, but I'm, I'm too lazy. There we go. Uh, I'm gonna have to use a screwdriver for that one. This one is going to be harder. I should have done this one first. It's going to have to go a little further, but that's okay. You know what? I'm going to bend it. So it's a learning process, guys. So I'm bending this. If I can. I might just cut it off. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to cut that. See, these 10 snips should probably work. They're for 10, but that's okay. Wow, they actually did work. Kind of wasn't sure there for a second if they, if they were going to cut it hot pun okay let's shove it in there this one Ooh, this is maybe not gonna fit i'm gonna have to this is harder than i thought i'm gonna pull these apart a little bit okay that'll help somewhat maybe now now that they fit better i can get uh these two set and then use the the extra room on this middle one to to get it in place without moving these. Yeah, so I'm going to tighten these down real quick. Flathead has got to be the worst screwdriver to use for this, or anything really. Okay, I'm hoping this will squish it down because I what I don't want is like the contact to be just this little tiny piece right here on two two spots because that's going to cause it to have a, a thinner it'd be the same the same as having too thin of a wire which i think would be bad i don't know that much about electrical stuff but i know that much that i mean you're dealing with welding stuff so you obviously need a thicker wire for the 220 volt anyway so might as well not uh, cut any corners i gave a torque spec but um how am i supposed to do that with a flat blade 30 inch pounds. That's actually not a lot, so that's probably fine. Okay, uh, now for the fun one, get the, uh, the ground wire. There we go. See, that's what I'm talking about. That's gonna have to stick out a little bit, but that's fine. It's not much other way to do it. There we go. 
You know what? I'm going to tighten this one some more because I really want it to squish down. I'm going to tighten it until I can't tighten it by hand anymore. There we go. And same with this one, I think. Yeah. There we go. That should be good. Uh, we're, so we're all wired in. Fortunately, the strain relief... I don't know. It'll probably work. It's supposed to go here. It, it'll work. Let me unscrew it really quick. Got that unscrewed. And from what I can tell, it goes... I think it goes here. Although it might, might be upside down. I'm not sure. Here. That, yeah, there we go. That makes sense. And then this, the same direction. That's going to be a tough fit, but it should work. Get these. That, that should be fine. I think. <laughs> Who knows? We'll give it a shot. Okay, so don't cross thread it. I started cross threading it by accident. Uh, let's get the other one in before we start tightening that one down too much. Uh, preferably in the screw hole. I don't know. I don't know if it'll reach far enough to get down to where it's supposed to go. We'll see. We'll certainly try. So it is getting tighter. It may just reach. Yeah. Just about. Yeah, if I, if I hold it right here, it should go straight in. Except it's probably not gonna... It's not gonna screw in. It's gonna be too tight for this thing to do that. But that's okay. It doesn't need to screw in. It just needs to... I think sit in those holes because that gives it enough pressure to push against the this and that'll keep it in place. It's not even in the screw hole there. That is not going to thread in there, but uh, that's fine. It, it's at least got strain relief here. It doesn't matter that it's not totally screwed in. It just matters that I clamp the heck out of it and it's not going to move. So yeah, we got that. What I want to do now is find a piece to mount this to. Oh, you know what? Um... Uh, Probably, again, not what these are for, but... Yeah! I'm running the part that I'm not using, but who cares? We have plenty more. There we go. That'll work dandy. And see, there's the rest of it. We got plenty of it. And it's junk material anyway, for the most part. But let's see about screwing that in. Of course, the screws are going to stick out. But that's fine. That's fine. This project uh, was supposed to be a short little thing that took 10 minutes. It's turning into a really big deal. There we go. There's two. I'll get the next one in a second. Perfect. Yeah, that should be no problem. Let's go and do the top one first. Tip it top. Might be able to do this by hand, at least to get it set. There we go. I'm going to knock it over now. No, I actually didn't. Okay. We're kind of in. There we go. Good. Uh, we're going to get them in, and once they're all in, we'll screw them in tight. Perfect. And we're good. Uh, the only problem is this. Uh, we'll probably tape those or something. I don't know. I mean, even just by themselves, they're pointy and sharp. So go, ah! Or, or don't do that, rather. I have an idea, and I don't know if it'll work, but uh, Teflon tape, maybe? Try it. Don't know. It might not, might not work, but we'll see. Might have already worked. There we go. There's one. Oh, that's it. Now, uh, we're good, I think. Now we just need to put the cover on. Actually, they're... What are these? I'm not sure what these are, are for. 
few screws. Oh, you know what? These are for the strain relief. Okay. That makes so much sense now. Okay. I'm gonna have to fix that. That's how it goes. I'm I'm a dumb dumb. Okay, so this needs to be pushed. It's gonna be hard, but I should have done this from the beginning because that's what guided it, and I didn't know that. Need a different screwdriver. If we get one, we can get the other. Looks like it'll just about go. And it goes. Okay, now for the second one. And it goes as well. Okay. Perfect. Now, uh, last thing to do, shove this cover back on. And put this big old screw doohickey in there. Dang it, another freaking flathead. I hate flatheads. Did I mention that I hate flatheads? Screw it in there. And... See, I don't think that one will fit in there. Okay, it's actually getting tight, so... Good. We're, we're golden. We're golden. There we go. We got a, a dryer plug on one end that plugs into the wall, and now we have an end on the dryer plug that accepts a welder cord. So, uh, just to prove it to you, let me sh let me bring my 40 foot extension cord <laughs> uh, that took like a month to get here, uh, but it was seventy dollars. It was way cheaper than like you could you could barely get a 25 foot one somewhere else. I'll put a link to that one as well, but beware, it's Amazon Prime, but you have to wait about three weeks for it to ship. But once it ships, it gets here quick. So uh, as you can see, this is a 40 foot long snake. It's it's massive, but uh. It, it needs that to go from the dryer, which is through there, all the way to uh, outside. But now, for the moment of truth. I mean, I don't know why that's now the moment of, moment of truth, but because uh, I tried it before and it obviously worked. But yes, we can now plug this into the wall, uh, the dryer plug wall. Put this end all the way out out there to the the outside world, and use this end to plug in the welder and weld. That's the main thing um, this is for 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 welding. So now I can actually get started on the edger bike frame. Oh gosh, it sounds so weird saying that because it's been so much in the planning. But yeah, I'll have another video up on on that for an update. Uh, but yeah, we can we can weld. There's nothing stopping me now. I'm gonna learn first. I'm gonna learn on some junk pieces that I don't need, but then we will start working on the edger bike frame and I'll make some videos of that. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully maybe it was helpful. Make sure, make sure to follow up and watch me testing it to make sure this actually works before you decide to do it because obviously it should work in theory, but yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you wanna see more projects like this, and I will see you guys later. Bye.